Welcome back to Arpeg Electronics, everyone. All right, today I finished uh, what looks to be the same, but it's a little bit more premium now. This one has the power supply uh, cable here for recoil action. All right, the regular USB cable going to TV. So the, the reason I did it this way is because uh, guns like AimTrack were known to have their recoil break, not because the solenoid went bad, but because the power cable, the cable was made in a, such a fragile way that the, the ground cable actually snapped internally, which means that your, your, your gun was dead unless you wanted to completely open it up and recable the whole thing. And this way you can just buy an extension cable for a few dollars, like six bucks on Amazon. You can run it to your power supply, run it to the back, or if your power supply is long enough, I'll include one of the power supplies with this one. Just plug it in, that's it. All right, buttons work as always. Okay, uh, but now we added a button in the back here for calibration and mode. So if you press this button once, it's gonna switch to four to three aspect ratio mode where your sides will be offset, all right? And then if you press and hold it, it'll go into calibration mode where you have to shoot five points without the GUI. And then if you press it two more times, it'll go back to regular full screen mode where it'll be perfect uh, full screen. But on four to three games uh, like MAME, it'll offset because of the way MAME boxes you in. All right, you got your trigger. This has a micro switch mod, so it sounds different. Okay, it has a real clicky sound. There's a rumble motor now, so when you reload, I, I know you can't hear it, but yeah, you got you got the reload. And I added a fisheye lens uh, via adapter. These were 3D printed for me for from one of my new suppliers, okay? And a lot of th the 3D parts that were inside of here uh, were custom designed by a friend of mine, Gustavo. So thank you to him. All right, and of course, now, all right, as always, if you're using an iPhone to shoot your videos, you are gonna have some uh, infrared interference just because of the way iPhone cameras like to screw with you. All right, I'm trying to zoom out as most, much as I can. But yep, now I can get a lot closer to my screen and still have my accurate shot, okay? Just remember that, uh, yeah, if you're shooting with iPhone, the infrared is gonna cause some jumpiness, so try to shoot your videos away. All right, and I'm, that's the recoil. Let me just close out of my screens so I can just shoot a clear screen for you. Okay, this is a 12 volt recoil. It's not a 24 volt, basically because you don't really get much benefit of using a 12 volt recoil. That a solenoid doesn't work that way. It doesn't get more sound because you put more juice into it. It actually works because a piece of metal hits another piece of metal. Basically, this is the aim track recoil. And the reason it makes such a loud noise is because this metal is a custom machine bolt, which smacks against this, causing that sound. And then this side maybe hits a piece of plastic or something, but the main action is being pulled in here and being shot out with the spring. But in this case, we're using a closed frame solenoid. I'm sorry, an open frame solenoid, but it's a, uh, it's a third party of course, cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get these. These are just r ridiculously expensive and these don't last too long actually. If you look closely in the center, the magnetic portion is a little smaller, it's a little weaker, but this one, it makes a sound same concept, it's smacking against itself, but there's no big metal bolt here to, to cause that action. So that's why the sound is not gonna be like super loud, but personally, I like it this way. It's not very disturbing or distracting. Okay, you can change this in the, in the GUI. You can turn it off if you like, uh, and you can just make it rumble only, which means when you shoot, it'll rumble. And when you reload, it'll rumble. Whereas currently now it only rumbles when you reload. All right, that's it. Uh, this will be a custom order pretty much if anyone wants it like this, uh, because this is quite a lot of work as always. Uh, but thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.